video. All right, thank you to everybody from yesterday, which while I'm editing this video is actually today, for wishing me a happy birthday. I've now reached the ripe old age of 27. Again. I have tried to respond in some way to everybody, but my Facebook page has got a bit choked up. It, it did this last year and it took a day or two for it to sort itself out. I will get round to you. Please don't think I'm being ungrateful. Right, so if it's my birthday, that obviously means that it's now October. Summer has shuffled off its mortal coil and, well, we're just looking at the weather gradually deteriorating for the next four months or so here in the UK. And thank you very much, but I don't want to hear from all you Californians and Australians telling me about how wonderful your weather is and the fact that you can ride all year round in sweltering heat it's my birthday and i don't want to know but for those of you like me who live in a temperate climate this is the time of year where riding usually becomes less frequent and we turn our minds to customization and the embellishment of our motorcycles plus we've got christmas coming up so everyone's looking for ideas and today i have the perfect little thing for any Royal Enfield Continental GT 650 or Interceptor 650 owner that would like to make a little modification to their bike that makes an amazing visual difference. Although I have to admit it is a particularly tricky part to video. It's a sad fact of life that with ever tightening emissions regulations and the introduction a few years ago of the modern lean burn engine which runs very hot our beloved motorcycle engines need every little bit of help they can possibly get to stay cool some manufacturers have gone down the liquid cooling route but thankfully royal enfield with these two models opted for air oil cooling in order to retain as much old school charm as they possibly could now your oil cooler is basically a sort of a radiator it works on exactly the same principles as a liquid cool radiator although generally they're a lot smaller and just like triumph with their radiators royal enfield have done the best to sort of blend it into the bike so that it can't be seen but the thing is they can be seen they are what they are they're a necessary evil that we just have to live with the big problem is of course because it's basically a radiator it's very susceptible to damage so it needs some sort of guard to protect it which is just another additional cost to the manufacturer and just like triumph with their oem radiator covers royal enfield have gone for a very how shall i put it cheap solution it does the job it looks okay but it doesn't exactly ooze quality and there's no hiding the fact that it's there it's basically just a flat sheet of metal now that makes it difficult to get a precision fit because one when the engine's running it's going to get hot and it's going to buckle slightly and two when the engine's running it's going to resonate it's going to vibrate which would eventually cause damage to the actual oil cooler and even though it does stand a fair bit off the oil cooler as a precaution the manufacturer has had to put a layer of foam all around the edges which does give some protection against vibration but obviously that foam is an insulator so although it may only be a tiny percentage it does cut down slightly on the efficiency of your oil cooler now obviously this cooler guard is a prime candidate for one of your first customization jobs for any owner of one of these bikes to replace it with something that's just a little bit classier but i've been keeping an eye on what's available and to be honest most of them follow the same basic design so the same inherent problems are present on most of the custom replacements so although some of these custom replacements may look aesthetically better they have the same inherent design problems and that's where enfield precision have come in with a proper high quality bespoke solution to this problem that at the same time raises the aesthetic impact of your motorcycle
Now, these wraparound covers come in two flavours. I'm going to show you the black one first. Both are made from stainless steel, but the finish on the plain version isn't your usual brushing, and I'll get onto that in a few moments. The stainless steel used in the design and manufacture of these guards is for a start much thicker than the OEM screen. And the wraparound design gives the whole assembly a torsional rigidity, so vibration or resonance and thermal warping cease to become a problem. This means that you can get a much more precise fit onto your oil cooler without having to use such huge gaps or any form of cushioning, whilst at the same time enhancing airflow around your oil cooler, optimising its ability to cool your oil. It isn't just designed to look nice, it's designed to enhance cooling as much as is possible. The wraparound design means that more of your oil cooler is protected from damage. And Enfield Precision have gone for a fairly standard geometric grill design with just one or two embellishments at the corners and of course top dead centre with the Enfield Precision trademark. It comes complete with a set of stainless steel fasteners to replace the steel fasteners that were originally with the bike and fitting to be honest is about a two minute job. Royal Enfield have used a very sensible fitting method. It simply slots onto two prongs at the top of the oil cooler, a bit like your right hand side panel but the other way around. And then at the bottom, in between the two big silver fasteners, there are two black 10mm bolts which also have a Phillips number 3 head cut into them. And these are the two fasteners that actually hold the cover in place. Now they do have loose nuts on the back of them, so be careful not to lose those because you may want to replace this old cover when it comes to selling the bike or whatever. And once you've removed those fasteners, you're free to just take the cover off. It's as simple as that. Now in the top of your OEM cover, you will find two rubber insets. They're basically just grommets. And they'll need to be swapped over from your OEM cover onto your new Enfield Precision covers. Dirty rubber is of course a bit of a grip magnet and it goes without saying that a gentleman never reuses dirty rubbers. So once you've removed them before fitting them onto your new covers it might be a good idea to give them a good clean with something similar to U-Pole panel wipe before fitting them on your new covers. And once you've got them cleaned up and fitted, you're ready for reinstallation. Just locate the rubbers onto the spares or prongs on top of the oil cooler. And once you've got them sighted correctly, just clip the bottom of the cover into place so that the holes for your fasteners marry up with the holes in the actual oil cooler bracket itself. It's then just a matter of using the supplied stainless steel fasteners to fasten it into place and then you're ready to go. The whole thing takes less than two minutes. The bare stainless steel version doesn't have what I would call conventional brushed finish on it. It's a very fine multi-directional brushing which I believe is known as street metal. And the only other place I've actually ever seen this finish is on some watch cases, sort of mid-range watch cases. Now I'm afraid the camera doesn't do this finish justice, it does look really nice. It has a sort of quality street furniture feel about it. In my opinion, it's been a really good choice to use this finish. And the Enfield Precision have chosen to do something a little bit different that doesn't just conform to what everyone else does. Now, I chose the black version for the Interceptor 650 and the racier street metal finish for the Continental GT. In both cases, they wear a very precise fit. They are a close fit, but they don't contact the oil cooler anywhere except where they're supposed to contact it. This unique side vented wraparound design ensures a smooth flow of air not just through the oil cooler but also around it 
which let's face it has got to be a good thing. I accept that the design may not be everyone's cup of tea, with some people perhaps thinking they look too modern. The thing is, most 1950s and most 1960s motorcycles didn't have oil coolers, so they didn't have to contend with this problem. But to my eyes, there's definitely some 1950s, early 1960s design elements incorporated into those side vents. And in my opinion, Enfield Precision have done a really good job with these covers. Enfield Precision is, of course, an exclusive product range of Hitchcock's motorcycles. And for those of you that are interested, I would of course leave a link to both of these covers in the video description down below. Once again, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and my other videos and in doing so helping to support this channel. I really do appreciate it. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like and if you like, subscribe to the channel. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell and ensure that all your notifications are enabled. Otherwise, you won't be informed whenever I upload a new video. I am of course going to be back on Friday, so until then, please, if you're riding, ride safely, and I'll see you soon.